Some movies just don't click, whether it be due to marketing, the quality of the film, or reasons that no one could pinpoint. The films that fail to recover their investment are called box office failures, and there are many, but very few, like ones in this list. Today on The Plugin, we will list down films that are considered the biggest disasters in the film industry, so much that it forced an Academy Award-nominated actor to retire and a production house to file for bankruptcy. John Carter John Carter was a box office failure for many reasons. First, the film had a very poor marketing strategy. The marketing team at the time was relatively new and didn't have much movie marketing experience also during 2011-2012. There were multiple box office failures of sci-fi movies based on classic stories in general. People were not connecting with such stories at the time, and if you add marketing to it, then the film will never effectively stand out for the audience. The film also had an uninspired title that did not capture the imagination of the movie-going public. Finally, the film was released with a bloated budget. Which meant that the studio needed to make a large return on investment to make a profit, which, of course, they didn't. The movie went on to lose a crazy $255 million adjusted for inflation, the biggest ever loss in movie history. Lone Ranger the Lone Ranger was a box office failure largely due to its excessive budget and lack of audience appeal. The movie was one of the most expensive films ever produced, but money doesn't guarantee, and that's exactly what happened. I buried you. The film was criticized for its overlong running time and lack of character development. The marketing strategy didn't make much sense, and basically, no one showed any interest or care. Furthermore, the film was released in the summer of 2013, a crowded time for blockbuster films. As a result, The Lone Ranger was unable to compete with the other films and ultimately failed at the box office. Something very wrong. The film lost an estimated $239 million, adjusted for inflation. 13th Warrior The movie had all the ingredients to be a great film. It was directed by the guys who made Die Hard. It's based on a book written by the guy who wrote Jurassic Park and stars world-class actors such as Antonio Banderas and Omar Sharif. I mean, what could go wrong? Well, everything. The movie was a disaster to make, and when the test audience reacted negatively to early cuts, it became even messier because then the studio decided they the author should replace the director. The reshoots increased the budget significantly, and a marketing strategy that focused more on the horror aspects of the movie rather than the epic adventure story failed the movie. The movie was the biggest box office disaster of the decade, losing the production house $227 million, adjusted for inflation. The movie was such a disaster that Omar Sharif took a four-year hiatus from the movie industry because of it. Mortal Engines Mortal Engines was a huge box office failure. Despite an impressive visual aesthetic and a creative premise, the film failed to attract audiences and resulted in a box office loss of an estimated $204 million, adjusted for inflation. The film's mixed reviews from critics and lack of star power I'm sorry you had to head out. May have been a contributing factor to its low gross, as well as its release in a crowded holiday season when Marvel films were dominating the box office. Additionally, the film's limited marketing budget may have prevented it from reaching a wider audience. Cutthroat Island Cutthroat Island was a box office failure for a few reasons. First, the movie's production budget was extremely high for the time, and its estimated marketing budget was even higher. Second, the movie was released in the middle of the crowded 1995 holiday season, making it difficult for the movie to stand out. Third, and most importantly, the movie was not good. The script was lackluster, and the film didn't feel fresh at all. The negative reviews and poor marketing resulted in a catastrophic box office loss of 202 Two million dollars adjusted for inflation. Karolko Pictures, who was one of the production houses that produced the film, became bankrupt after the film. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you are interested in films that were actually successful, then check out our previous video on the highest grossing films of all time.